Now that's a lobster we're strapping a GoPro on. Harness strap tightening down. I'm not paying you credits on the video if this does well. I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Make Re Mischief. All right, we are down here in Rockport Harbor. You saw it, you clicked on it. We're going out to check my lobster traps and we're gonna strap a GoPro on a lobster. Let's do it. So my girls and I saw like a month ago that this thing was trending, that Monster Mike strapped a GoPro on a fish and the Fish Whisperer strapped a GoPro on a turtle and I had the idea of strapping a GoPro on a grizzly, but I thought I'd set my sights a little lower first. Well, I'm lobstering. I got my personal five trap license. We've been making a fun series called I Bought a Boat and playing around the lakes, the ocean here and having all kinds of fun. Why not go out today, check those traps, find a good sized lobster, strap a GoPro on it, see what he gets up to. Are you ready? I'm ready as I can. Do you know what we're doing today? Are we strapping a GoPro to some sort of crustacean? I, no, you didn't say it. You gotta say it right. Oh, uh, strapping a GoPro to a lobster? The, no, yeah, there you go. You gotta say it like a YouTuber. We're gonna strap a GoPro to a lobster. So I looked all over YouTube and I'm pretty sure nobody has ever strapped a GoPro on a lobster. It should be pretty epic. Unlike fish and turtles, lobsters tend to move around backwards when they move around majorly and, and forwards. We're gonna find out for sure though today because nobody has ever strapped a GoPro on a lobster. So we really don't know, do lobsters always move around backwards or do they move forward? So this could be a, a complete backwards video of strapping a GoPro on a lobster. Am I overplaying it? <laughs> no, no comment. Should be interesting. See the top boiling? Oh, yes. The top of the water is boiling right there. Can you see that? See, see the... Yes, that's a good sign. So hopefully this is some pogies, because if we don't catch some more bait fish, this is my last chance to catch some lobsters and strap a GoPro to a lobster. <laughs> nope, that's a mac. Yeah, we got mackerel. Sweet. Mackerel. Catch and cook mackerel? Looks like we're baiting, uh, okay, baiting traps of mackerel. Let's get it. Let's get some. This is us. Yeah. Oh, you, you got a string. dark and light. Fire away. We'll be all But it's a chance to feel something special. We are the darkness and the light. Well, you can frighten me if you want to. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Now, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't 
some crabs, some tiny lobsters, very obviously too small. Doesn't snap over the back. It's a female and no notch. It's a keeper. It's a little small. Let's see if we can catch a bigger one to strap the GoPro on. Throw a couple mackerel in there. Good luck, mackerel. Catch me some lobsters. a lot better. I see some big guys and gals in this one. Now that's a lobster we're strapping a GoPro on. That's the one right there. We got our lobster. We're gonna head on over to where the lighthouse is. There's a little cove over there. We'll hook him up with the GoPro and send him off to do his thing and see what he films. All right, here we are in about six feet of water, so there's gonna be some good visibility for Mr. Lobster. Let's strap the GoPro to the lobster. We got our GoPro with the GoPro saddle that I made. A little cushion so he's not uncomfortable. Some line, a milk jug to attach him to, and some zip ties to put it on him, and these to snip it off when we let him go. Holy geese, Batman. Touch the claws. Woo! There he is. That's our big guy. Let's strap it on him and see what he can film. I'm ready. I've been practicing for this my whole life. First, you put the GoPro saddle cushion on, patent pending. Then the GoPro. The trick is not getting pinched while doing it. Lobsters can survive for up to like three or four days in a fridge in a crisper. So he should be okay for being out of the water for a couple minutes while we get this rigged up. And the other ones are going home to be dinner. Harness strap tightening down. I picked a nice one with a good hard shell too so we don't hurt him. Because we're going to let him go for his all his filming help. I'm not paying you credits on the video if this does well. It's up to you to make the most of this opportunity. We get enough of an angle so we get his, him doing his thing. All right, Mr. Lobster, it's all strapped up. Seems okay with it. Our GoPro onto our lobster. Make sure we hit record. Clean off the GoPro lens. And she's recording. Oh, I see you, seeing me, seeing you, seeing me. It's like a inception thing going on. All right, here we go. Good luck, buddy. Oh, he's a little GoPro heavy. Hopefully he can handle it when he gets to the bottom. He is now on the job. Time to go set this trap just over here. See if he heads for this trap or if he messes with the, the snacks we left him. And then we'll come back and check on him in two hours. We're gonna head over there and haul the rest of our traps while we wait. More lobsters out of our second to last trap and a big old Jonah crab. Leave in the comments below, should I strap a GoPro onto a Jonah crab next time? I think I'd have to strap it on sideways. What do you think? Leave in the comments below, crab. Does the camera go on forward or sideways? Oh notched female we gotta throw her back check this out and that fin right there is notched and it's a female and that's the soft swim fins it means we gotta throw her back because she's a she's a mother or was a mother at some point she doesn't have eggs right now but she could be a mother again so we gotta protect her so that, that there could be millions of baby lobsters out here she's got a beautiful green it all turns red in the pot though oh, man do they taste good mm. oh. oh man that's good mm. <laughs> oh, pass the butter. Oh, and another keeper. There we go. Put them in with these guys. 12 lobsters and one big Jonah crab today. That's not a bad haul. On a good day, I'll fill two buckets out of five traps, but we haven't been getting that good of a days lately. Well, let's go back now and check on our GoPro lobster, see how he's doing. Let's see what our lobsters managed to film. Hello, Mr. Lobster. He's, uh, 
how'd you do? And we're gonna set him free. I hope the footage comes out good. Let's check it out. Let's set him free first though. All right, buddy. Since you did such a good job filming, we're gonna let you go. No, I'm not paying you for this. I don't care how many views this video gets. Hey, he's getting greedy already. He thinks this video is gonna get a million views. What should we name him? Leave it in the comments below. You did such a good job, buddy. Uh, thank you for the filming. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go see what's on that footage. Good luck, buddy. Initially, he kind of laid there for a little bit, but after seeing those stripers, he was kind of motivated to move off and find something else to do. So our little GoPro lobster here is quite the explorer. I have about an hour and a half of footage and he almost never stops moving. He's just always exploring. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to look at the raw footage yourself and watch that. So I just put some of the highlights in here and you won't believe what he gets up to. We actually dropped that lobster trap about 20 feet away and he makes his way over the trap. And I can't, I couldn't believe, I couldn't have predicted what would happen when he runs into the trap. It's really neat. This first time he comes up against the trap is really neat. He like goes up to it and then like jumps away a little bit. A couple times he does this. And then he moves over to the side of the trap in another angle um, around one of the other sides. And I notice he has a piece of grass, if you could see right here, in his claw. I noticed that he did that a couple times here and there where he wanted to like stop himself for a little bit or hang out. He would grab onto a piece of grass and, and uh, hold himself in position for a little while. After watching this, it looks like lobsters and crabs don't get along all that well. He never attacked any of them that I saw, but there was an hour and a half footage. I haven't gone through it all. Like I said, there's a link in the description below if you want to see the rest of that raw footage. But man, those crabs, they couldn't get away fast enough every time they saw him coming. He never actually did go in the trap. He turned away at the last minute in that last clip that was right there at the opening. You could see the bait bag out of the corner of the camera shot. And he just, he turned around and he headed the other way. And for the rest of the footage, the whole other half of the footage, he just headed off through the grasses, exploring and getting up to, uh, I don't know what, other adventures. So hit that link in the description below if you want to watch a raw footage and scan through it yourself. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Fowler out.